Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Uh, unfortunately, this episode is going to have to be post commentated because I lost the footage somehow. Uh, the audio footage, that is. So I guess it's not really footage, it's audio recording? Either way, I lost the recording, and so I'm going to have to do post commentary here. And the first thing we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be going to get that Jinjo that I did not know uh, where it was at in Witchy World. And it's actually over here. Could have got this at any time, pretty much. I just completely had forgotten about it when I was playing, I guess. So we hop up here, get the red Jinjo. We've actually completed the Jinjo family. And so we get a nice Jiggy in our 50th Jiggy. So we are raking in those Jiggies now. And after this, um, I'm not quite sure where we were going to be heading next. I think we're going to go back to the last level that we were at. So we're going to be going back to Hellfire Peaks, I believe. Uh, freaking getting attacked by those things. I guess they're shooting coins, even though I always thought they were pizzas. And it looks like they're shooting coins. It would make more sense because they're a slot machine. Oh yeah, we're actually jumping into Glare Gulch Mine because we're going to be getting the two gin, uh, jiggies that we can get here that we have left. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. First one is going to be over by the waterfall where we have to get on top of the back of the, this little waterfall over here. And we can do that now with the spring boots. I thought the spring boots were on top of the green pillar or the green slope over there, but they're actually in the box down there. And I'm going to realize that Go down there now and use it to get this jiggy in here. The other jiggy is in the power supply basement and I wander around there for a while trying to find it. But this one's easy enough so we get our 51st jiggy. And then I like try to find where the actual area is and I mistake it a few times. So this lets me explain the reason why I haven't been able to upload a video for the next few days is because I've been battling with my ISP because my ISP is going to be enacting data limits, monthly data limits, which it said it wouldn't do for people who had been grandfathered in, who had bought the packages when there was no limit. And now they have recently changed their mind and decided everybody gets the limit. And it's a 250 gigabyte a month limit, which isn't that bad for most people, I guess. But if you're uploading a lot of videos and downloading a lot of videos, it can add up pretty quickly. Especially if you have Netflix or Hulu or some kind of streaming service. If you stream things in that and you stream them in HD, you're going to be going over the limit very quickly, especially 250 gigabytes, which is a very low limit. I would say if they had a 500 gigabyte limit, that would be fine, but the only options I have are 250, 350, and then the last one, which is 999. I don't know why they have such a big gap there, but they decided those would be the numbers that they want to pick, and so I'm going to either have to update or just survive on the data limit and not go over, because if I go over, it's $10 for every 50 gigabytes I go over. Well, it's $10 for when I go over, and then $10 every 50 afterwards. So I will, yeah, that would suck. So I'm thinking I'm just going to upgrade because I will be paying the $10 either way. If I go over, I'll be paying the $10. If I upgrade, I'll be getting the $10, and I'll be getting twice the speed I have now. Actually, like 2.5 times the speed, which would be a nice increase. I'd be able to upload videos faster. I would be able to download whatever I want to watch faster. And that would all around be a good thing. Here, I take the little shortcut that we can use now, and we're going to open the ice chest. The ice safe, or whatever they want to call it. This is a stop and swap thing. Uh, you get the ice key from 
Wasa's cave in Banjo-Kazooie and use it to open here and inside we get a Mega Globo. It's a big ass Globo. He congratulates us on our achievement and we head back in to get that other Jiggy. But yeah, because of that, I have not been able to really upload videos, uh, especially not then. But my data has rolled over, so I'm able to actually do things for a while. And uh, it just, I just wish that they wouldn't have done this. If they would have not, if they would have had a higher limit, or if they would have not raised it for me, because I've, we've had the internet for probably six, seven years, and we've had their cable service for probably going on 15 years so I would think they would value me as a customer but I guess not I guess I'm gonna just get fucking gonna get shit on by them and that's pretty shitty no pun intended so yeah I hate doing post commentary because it's hard to figure out what I want to talk about because when I'm watching the video I don't know what's going through my mind when I'm playing it. I know at this point I'm trying to find where the basement is, and I go through a whole bunch of areas and I eventually find it. But I can't recreate the original audio, unfortunately, so I just kind of have to go on what I see. But after we do finish Glitter Gulch Mine, we do head off towards Hellfire Peaks and do a little more things there. Because we're more or less done with what we can do in Grunty's Industries. So I have no real reason to want to stay there right now. Because like I said, it's my host, my le meh. It's my most hated level. I was about to say it's my least hated level. And that's by far not true. It doesn't even have good music. I mean, come on. If it doesn't even have good music, what kind of stage is it? Especially a Banjo-Kazooie game. Come on. Oh yeah, here I think was when my audio, uh, no, my audio might have started been messing up a little bit, but it didn't, it fixed itself pretty quickly. I really need to get those new cables, and now with this whole internet thing, I'm going to be having to pay extra money for that, and that makes it to where I can't buy things that I need. To make videos for people so it's like this is making videos is more annoying than I thought it would be when I started but it's more fun than I thought it would be as well so I guess it, it evens out even if nobody watches even if just a few people watch it's still pretty enjoyable so the thing we have to do here is we have split pads which we get, we're gonna need because we have to use a specific Thing, we have to be able to climb so ban only banjo can climb because we can't climb and here's where I'm fixing my audio and I just fixed it all good you might not have been able to hear the mistakes but it comes through on my headset so so like right here I have to climb this but I should have split and it, I don't know why I guess because I was fixing my audio I forgot If you memorize that pattern, you can actually do it without turning on the lights, but for the sake of making things, you know, not as fucking terrible, I decided against that. And so we're gonna head out and split real quick. Out the door. Jump on the split pad to get Banjo out. And now with Banjo, we can climb up the stairs. Or up the ladder. So up the ladder we go. W wonderful double jump there. Gotta love his backpack double jump. I wish in r I wish you could double jump in real life with backpacks. Would have made going to school a lot more fun, I'll tell you that. Tell you that. I gotta be careful with Kazooie too because I always see when they split up and get lower health it's always Kazooie that seems to screw up 
So yeah, this would be a nice place for like a quick jiggy if you could memorize these spots, but I uh, see I'm almost freaking screwing up and I know where the places are and I do I fall off? I don't think I fall off, but could have easily fallen off. So we're gonna check the totals real quick. Alright, we finished Glitter Gulch Mine. Of course Mohammed Temple. Witchy World is done. Still need to get those jiggies, and I know where I think I know how to get two of them. I forget where the last one is, but I will get it. And only one Hellfire Peaks. Got a lot we can do there. But the other weird thing about Kazooie by herself is the fact that I, I don't know, she's more slippery than Kazooie, or Kazooie. It's more slippery than Banjo. Banjo has tight controls, Kazooie kind of has loose controls. And it's kind of weird. So now we have got them back together. Well, we're going to be getting them back together. And we can head back out towards Hellfire Peaks and get some more shit done at Hellfire Peaks. And hopefully not suck, because if you remember last time I was in Hellfire Peaks, I was just getting shit on by everything. And it was sad. Uh, what I was doing during that pause was actually making sure that I had all the um, moves so far before I go to the last stage. Even though, I, like I said, I will be going to Hellfire Peaks first. Uh, I think I need to do a few more things there so I can set up some stuff and be able to uh, not have to make an extra trip there once I go to the last stage. Which unfortunately isn't as great as Click Clock Woods was. Click Clock Woods. That was just my. That was just great. I, I loved Click Clock Woods. I guess a lot of people. I don't know. Some people said that they really loved it. Some people really hate it. I don't really know why they hate it. I guess because it's kind. Of, it's it is pretty long level standards, and it is just one central area with different seasons and changing things based on those seasons. I guess if people don't like that kind of thing, it it just won't work with them. So I don't want to take the train station. I was thinking there if I wanted to, but the train station's already in a different place, so don't want to be heading out there. I'll just go the quicker route and go straight to the stage. To use the shortcut and go to the mountain top or is it cliff top? It's over there. Cliff top. I think it's cliff top. Yep, cliff top. And now we can head back into, uh, hopefully not suck it up, Peaks. As far as I can recall, I did not suck it up, so. If I do, it will be a surprise to both you and me. Because I'm watching myself. It's weird watching myself at Banjo-Kazooie while I'm on my computer, because I feel like I want to play it using my keyboard, and I'm just, that's a weird feeling. Guess it's just shoot back to when I uh, first got into emulators and was playing Banjo Kazooie. Was playing Banjo Kazooie on an emulator to test it, so I could get Banjo Tooie to work later. And I didn't have a USB controller at the time, so I just had to use a keyboard. And it was weird, yet interesting. And I remember Banjo Tooie. I had to learn how to use the sensitivity thing in the controller map because you have to be able to tiptoe in that one area in the first stage and you can't do that with a mouse or not a mouse, a uh, keyboard unless you use the sensitivity settings that was a little bit annoying alright so a little mistake there I, I think right now I'm just kinda I'm trying to unlock a shortcut pad, a teleport pad or whatever they're called up here, and I'm 
mistaking this ledge for a different ledge, so I don't think this... Oh, no, this was right. It was the other ledge I was mistaking for a different ledge. But that helps us get a quick shortcut to a split pad, and we need a split pad to go over to this ledge that we were just at. Um, yeah, if you are Banjo, you can double jump over those hands and not get hit, but don't do it on a on a one that's that close, or also probably don't want to do it on the edge of cliffs like this, like the, towards the corner of the cliff, because if you overshoot it, you are going straight into the lava. And it's not fun in there. So we get this move. I get, I'm going to be a, doing an actual dub. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. Hold left trigger RT when you're Press right stick down, protect it in liquids, you will be. It's cool because they actually like, I guess it, it, you say L trigger, left trigger, right trigger, but they're actually saying LT and RT. The actual button names. Getting it to rhyme up there. Alright, so now that we got that, I can go over here and show it off, which is what I think I'm heading over to do. Whether I make it, I'm not quite sure. Have to go one way, pick which direction you're gonna go. I'm trying to decide. Cause I could go the other way and use the shortcut pads, but I think I decided just to go the long way around. That's not even a long way. They're probably about the same. It's, the, this is technically a long way, but since I have to go out of my way to get to the teleport pad, might as well just go this way. While avoiding fiery hands that are trying to grasp me. All right, here's an example of this pack. Get in here and grab that fish. We'll be using that later. And we grab a green Jinjo, who's our friend. Now we have to, there's no way to jump with the pad, or I don't know if it's jumping that's not, you're not able to do, but you're definitely not able to get out of the pack because obviously you would burn even though you would actually burn in the pack too, but you know, Banjo Kazooie universe. So it's like there's a little bit of realism there, but not enough. I yeah, I wanted to see if I could do anything here, but I forget that it's actually too hot. Forgot. So here you hit the button. It's like. That water is far too hot for our swimming pool. Alright, so since I couldn't do that, I have to go back and meet up with Kazooie, and I think that means we're going to head over to the ice zone for a bit. Or maybe we get close to doing it, and then I do it in the next episode. I guess we'll have to see. Waiting on the straw. Oh, no. That could have juggled me. He could have hit me into that, and then that would have hit me and knocked me back to, into him, and then it would have juggled me over and over again until I died. So, don't let that happen. Uh, sucks I can't jump over these now, because I'm... Oh, get hit right there. What the heck was that? Yep, we're heading over here to the ice area. So we get to see the ice area of Hellfire Peaks. But we also notice there is a... heart piece, or a, um... What is it called? Honeycomb piece over there. And so we're going to grab that. This is the normal way. I, I think this is the intended way. And then you can also just fly up here with the fly pad. Either way works. But since they had that ledge there, you might as well use it. Now we're heading into the ice zone. Scanners indicate location of kids evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting earthling crosswind. Be careful. Yoinks, I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What? What's going on? Keep ship steady. Oh no. Activate jack. Pack. Um, never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm dead. 
What the fuck? What the fuck, Rare? Anyway, in the next part, we're going to continue on with Banjo-Tooie, and it's going to be live commentary, so I'll see you next time.